Hello everyone, and welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing a Y map, which is uh, turning that construction site near Sandy into a cool like dirt track, which is kind of what it is anyway. Um, but it just adds these like barriers to it and everything, and I think it looks pretty nice. And hopefully you do find it nice as well. Uh, you can use it for events in your server, and I think it just makes it look a lot more realistic if it was actually a dirt track. Anyway, uh, you can find the location there on your map as well. Um, and to install this, it is quite easy. All you have to do is go in and click the download button here on the resource page. You can download it on um, the 5M forums, the link will be at the top of the description. You then go over to this green clone open or download button and just go ahead and download it as a zip file. And you're going to open up the zip file with WinZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip, whatever you use to open it up. In my case, it is WinRAR. Um, and if you have your resources folder open, this is the time you're going to have to do it. If you don't, obviously just open up your resources folder. For those using TX Admin, it's probably in your TX data folder inside of your local disk. If it's um, if you're using your own install using the server data, it's probably in your server your data folder. If you're using a host like Zap Hosting, it would be FTP as well. And then you can just go ahead and drag in this folder into that fol into the resources folder, and we can close that at the zip file. We don't need it anymore. And we're just going to go ahead and right click rename, and we're going to get rid of the dash main at the end of it. And we're just going to go ahead and highlight the rest of it and select copy. This allows us to just get the folder name completely correct and get rid of the thing GitHub adds on each download. Then you're going to go to the server data folder, server.cfg. Um, this also could be on your panel if you're using a host or even in um, your TX admin itself. And then you're just going to add wherever at the top where it says these resources will start by default at the end of that list. Either add ensure or start depending on what you have. The name of the folder we just copied ultra race attack in our case. Then we're going to go ahead and start the start.bat file, and this is also the fx server.exe. And you can see it started resource ultra racetrack. So we know we have installed it. Now let's hop in game and check it out. Well, it seems like 5M is currently down, which is very unfortunate, but nothing I can really do about that. But hopefully you did check this out on your own server and played around with it. Um, thank you to the author for making this free on the forums. If you want to go check it out, link in the top of the description. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in two days for the next video. Have a great day.